Hello everyone. Welcome back to part 2 of Incident Manager. In part 1, we discussed how you can create contacts, how you can create escalation plan and run books, and by using escalation plan and contacts, how you can create your response plan, and what is Incident Manager. If you haven't watched that video, so I will suggest you please go ahead and watch the part 1 before proceeding to this video, and I will provide the link of part 1 video in the description as well as on the upper right hand side corner of this screen. So in the part 2, what we will do, we will run an EC2 instance, we'll set up a CloudWatch alarm and we'll say that if the CPU utilization of the EC2 instance goes beyond maybe 50%, then start an incident in the incident manager, which eventually follow your response plan which you have created in last uh, video. Uh, which internally start calling these contacts which you have provided in your escalation plan and once these contacts are engaged they will follow the run book which we have provided in the escalation, escalation plan to mitigate this incident. So without wasting any time let's go to our console and see how we can set it up all this. Okay guys I have logged in into my account and we have a response plan which we created in our last lecture. We have our escalation plan as per our last video and we have our contacts in that. So now what we will do, we will go to EC2 uh, console and to save some time what I have done that I have created a EC2 instance. In that EC2 instance, the only setting which I have done that I provided a IAM role to this EC2 instance which have permission for SSM and I have installed the SSM agent as well. You can use or you can follow this uh, link on AWS website, which I can provide the link in my description as well to how to install the SSM agents. So, and other thing on the security group is I allowed all these ports for to run it properly. Now, what we will do, we'll set up a CloudWatch alarm. For that, let's go to CloudWatch. Let me note down this EC2 instance ID. In CloudWatch, we will to click on alarm, create an alarm, select matrix, we'll use EC2 and pre instance instance metric and we'll search for our EC2 instance. In that, the metrics we are interested is in CPU credit uses. sorry CPU utilization so because we want to check that if the CPU utilization goes beyond 50% then we'll call our incident manager for that let's select this and no, to select this we selected our CPU utilization select metric and in that we will say that for an average of one minute if my CPU utilization goes more than 50% then I don't need to send any notification what I will be doing I will do a system manager action so we'll click on add system manager action and in that we'll do a create incident for doing the for creating an incident where you want to create an incident if you create an incident in your incident manager so we have to choose a response plan so we'll choose the response plan which we have created EC2 RP and we click on next. Next, we can give you an alarm name EC2 CPU alarm. And if you want, you can give some description. Click next. If everything looks good to you, you can uh, click on create alarm. Okay, guys, our alarm is created. Next, what we will do, we will give a command to increase the CPU utilization of this EC2 instance to more than 50%. So for that, what I have done that I have a uh, Cloud9 environment by using that I have uh, SSH into this EC2 instance. And what we will be doing in that is, uh, let me clear the screen. Uh, I'll install some uh, packages which I can use to give uh, stress out this uh, EC2 instance. So. And I'll provide these commands in the description so that you can use it. 
and you can SSH from your terminal as well. So I prefer to use Cloud9 environment instead of using uh, my terminal. Just my own preference. Uh, nothing use, uh, nothing wrong using your terminal as well. Uh, in that I'm uh, doing giving a stress command and I'll do it this stress for 600 seconds so it will be close to 10 minutes okay so now I have started this command what it will do it will stress out this C, uh, EC2 instance and uh, it will bring the CPU utilization more than 50 percent uh, so let's let me give it a minute and once because it will take a little bit of time to get reflect into uh, the metrics and once it will be there i'll uh, restart the uh, resume the video and then we'll take it forward from there okay guys now if you see the cpu utilization has gone around 85 percent and it should set it into an alarm which will eventually create an incident in my incident manager so if you see right now there is no incident is created here so once uh, I think for one minute it will check that if uh, CPU utilization is more than 50% then it will set so you can see this is in alarm uh, and if you go to our incident manager you can see one alarm has been created which eventually sent an email and an SMS to me I've already got an SMS to my uh, phone on my phone and if I go to this incident manager you can see you will find some summary and you will find some recent events uh, under the metrics you will find the CPU utilization metric uh, so if everyone all the people who are working with you on this then they can keep an eye that what's going on with the C uh, CPU metric CPU utilization metrics as well uh, under the timeline you will find what also incident started uh, EC2 uh, CPU alarm when it went into an alarm then the run book setup is started progress and pending in progress and all the incident whatever uh, is happening you can see everything in this timeline then in the context you will see who all has been engaged and under the run book you will see the run book so right now the navigate to Amazon cloud also the first step is kind of pending so let's complete that particular step so what it's saying that uh, navigate to CloudWatch console determine the instance in question and copy the source code of the metric CPU utilization so let's go action new source and copy source then we'll say we'll say that okay we have done that we can resume it and what it do it will mark this step as complete and it will move to my next step Next, under context, you will see that stage one contacts have been engaged four minutes ago and no one has acknowledged. So for acknowledge, when you get a text, you will send, you will get a code in there and it will say that, okay, rip, text that particular code back to that message. So the moment you do that, so right now I'm doing it parallelly on my phone. So once you do that, it will say once the, this, a system will receive that message you will see acknowledged so let's give a minute I just texted that particular code so it may take a minute or so to mark it as acknowledged so after that it will say that it's like acknowledged so let's go to our run book and see you can see that we first step we said that okay we went to CloudWatch and we did it and it's completed next it will ask you to add the metrics so you can add the metrics and then you can mark it as complete and once it's done after that you can start doing the next step so basically the run book will help uh, uh, your team to make sure that they are following all the steps what is mentioned in there and it will help them to uh, mitigate this particular risk and it will bring the CPU utilization back to normal by following all these steps so you can say uh, when I send the text back so that means I acknowledge and it will mark as yes so if you have a stage 2 here and you would have suppose you have set up in your escalation plan that if nobody is acknowledged for 10 minutes then move to stage 2 so the moment it's acknowledged it will stop the escalation and it won't send any message to stage 2 context but if nobody has acknowledged for 10 minutes then it will move to stage 2 and 10 minutes I'm just taking a number it can be any number uh, you can say that okay uh, after 5 minutes I want to engage, after 15 minutes I want to engage the 
second set of people. Uh, then you can just follow up this uh, uh, run book and mark whenever you're done, you can keep on marking them uh, resume. So wait, basically once you are done with these steps, then you can click on resume and it will go to the, your next step where you validate and all those things. Uh, after you are done with all the steps, uh, here you can see the timeline as well. So after you're done with all the steps, you can mark this incident as a result. Uh, so suppose your CPU utilization went down, so you can mark this incident as resolved. Uh, I'm just marking it so that it, I am just I just to show you, but you uh, should complete all the steps and then you should mark this incident as resolved. And once you have marked this incident as resolved, you can do a create analysis as well, where uh, either you can follow some uh, template, uh, I suppose uh, create, and what this analysis tells you that uh, what all steps you have taken and uh, what was the impact supposing what was the incident summary and what was the impact of that and you will provide all the related information about about this so there are some incident questions how could time to detection is improved so basically it, it, it there will be some questionnaire how you diagnose it what was the mitigation plan uh, how you can prevent it and all those steps uh, there is pre-defined questionnaire you can create your own template as well which you can use it to um, list it out so that in future if this uh, your management want to review they can see okay this particular incident happened and how we mitigate it and uh, they can read through these questions as well so if you go back to our incident manager uh, you will uh, see all the resolved incident under resolved incidents and under the analysis you will see the analysis which I just spoke so right now it's in progress so once you fill out all this information you can mark it as complete and uh, then it will show it under your analysis as complete and then your management can go and review this as well and resolved incident it will show it here if you click on that it will show you all the informations that uh, what is the metrics, uh, what is the timeline of that, what run book we followed, uh, did we follow, uh, well, did we complete all the steps or not, who were the contacts, what is the engagement plan happened, that uh, was it resolved by the stage one or did it go to stage two as well and other information. So guys, that's it for the incident manager. So you can see from the demo that it was pretty helpful that uh, whenever the incident happened, how uh, people's go how people got engaged automatically by this incident manager you don't need to call somebody you don't need to find out their phone numbers or email address you don't need to find out a particular run book that which run book they need to follow you can you can embed everything in this incident manager as a response plan and people just whenever they just get engaged they just need to follow the steps which is mentioned in there to mitigate that risk so if you have any question, please feel free to put a comment and I'll be happy to answer those questions, guys. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. So I will be putting more videos on uh, upcoming uh, new AWS launches or existing uh, topics. So if you are interested in a particular topic, uh, so please let me know if uh, more people are interested in the same topic. I'll try to record a video on that as well. And uh, till then, Thank you so much guys for watching and uh, please provide your feedback that is very useful. Thank you so much guys. Bye.